Hi guys, you may have seen one of my videos where I bought this LiPo battery alarm, low voltage alarm, and it was 40. I've had a replacement, in fact I've had two replacements, so what I'm going to do now is take this one apart and just see if there's anything obvious wrong with it, like a loose wire or a dry joint on the soldering. So I shall cut this heat shrink off and have a look inside. I was hoping that was just a piece of plastic held in place by the heat shrink, but it's actually Sticky backed. Well, it's coming off though. What I'll do is I'll clean the sticky back sponge off and then I'll get my microscope so we can get really close look at it. Before we go any further, it just occurred to me you may not have seen the previous video, so this is a good lipo alarm or low voltage alarm so there you go, that tells me my 3 cell LiPo is fully charged 12.5 total, number 1 4.17, number 2 4.16 number 3 4.13 so they're not perfectly balanced but that's what that's how it should work If we put this 40 one on, and there you go, it's giving us an error message. So we're taking the back off just to see if there's anything obvious, as I say. I'll finish cleaning it up. Right, I've got my USB microscope. So we'll just have a look at the circuit board. I'll just generally scan all the way over it and see what we can see. So starting at the pinout, or whatever we want to call it, this bit. They all look okay. Still a little bit of the black um, sponge stuff that was on there. I've done my best to clean it out of the way. Those two are labelled diodes, D1 and D2. Just scrape that one a little bit more. Like it's got S4 written on both of them. And we've got a J3Y. Nothing on that one. I think that's a capacitor, but I don't know. I'm guessing because it says C1 next to it. Then we've got a 431. Another diode, D3, that's a resistor, 331 or 13, yeah. yeah, 331 I think that is, R13, another 331 there, that's the switch for setting the uh, cut-off voltage. 
or alarm voltage. And you can just see the back of the two I'll call them speakers. LKT written there. So like a 137 on that. I'll call it a transistor for now. Just rub the surface a little bit more. Or 13Y. That one. That's four three one. Still can't read that clearly. that J3Y. Okay, come along here, we got anything else? Another resistor with a bit of muck on it. It says 472 on it. Yep, 472. Atmel 157 24C02N SU27D. A bit of white stuff. Got nothing I can point at with it. A little bit of white stuff there. Don't know what that's about. And then that chip has nothing written on it. Legs all look okay. And that's it. So the only thing that looks a little bit odd is that bit of white just there. I suspect that's just a bit of flux. Doesn't appear to be making connection with anything anyway. So, nothing obvious, no legs hanging out of the solder or anything. Well, we've had a look. That's the best I can do.